NBC welcomes you to the following presentation. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, and yes, Pendy is making me do this. We've watched them go from mites to 18U players in what feels like the blink of an eye. Just yesterday, we strapped skates on them for the first time. Watch them take their first shots on net, taking them to practice at 6 a.m., had games at 11 at night, tournaments in Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and yes, even in Canada. We may have been frozen in the stands, but watching them warmed our hearts. <laughs> I play for uh, Team Hi, I'm Black. I'm Hi, Black. <laughs> I'm Jason, Junior, All Star of the team. Shane Lovell, mobile defenseman. I'm number 33, Joe Baggy. Number, 30, number 31, didn't touch the ice once this season. <laughs> We're the goalies. <laughs> I'm the third straight. I'm the Nintrona Senior Captain, number 7, forward. Ricky Kimball, number 22. Yeah. <laughs> Max Flank, number one, assistant captain. <laughs> <laughs> We're all captains. To be honest, like we should be in the in like the movie. We should make a movie. I am Michael Baggy, junior defenseman. I'm Ryan Andrews, junior forward. I'm Connor Flynn, morale guy. <laughs> Personally, I thought that we were going to have a really outstanding season, probably one of the best ones in our school history. And technically, we did. We broke the record, but the outcome wasn't what we wanted. Honestly, yeah, I was expecting a ring. I'm, if, I'm, you know, if I'm being honest, it would have been nice. I was expecting a ring. Yeah, I was expecting a ring, too. Oh, I wanted to win stage. Win everything from a county, ten championships, the states, the league. We choked. Everyone was thinking about states. In the yeah, season. we all we all wanted to win. Which was our downfall in the end, but. Uh, thoughts going into this season. Um, how many games did we played? Like 22. Uh, we were we were thinking 22 and 0 state final. Yeah, it would have been nice, but we got a nice league championship for the banners, which is which means a lot. Yeah. Culture of our team, I feel like. We had a good group, like, we knew when to take stuff seriously and when we had times so that we could jerk around and so. stuff. It's just a positive relationship overall. The tight team bond was just phenomenal this year. Yeah, we have, like, a great group of guys and everything, and, like, I don't know, like, we all improved a lot as, like, the year went on, and, well, from junior year, from my junior year to the senior year, and I don't know, I, I really did expect the state championship, but, uh, I mean, I'm glad we won the league. And that's just how things panned out. I think our captains did a good job, like Ricky, um, Rory, and Drew were all very good captains. Our captains this year are Drew, Plastic, Sean King, Ricky Kimball, and myself. And uh, I think ever since our two grades have gotten to the school, the culture of the hockey team has changed a lot. And it's been like more accomplished over the past couple of years. Yeah, yeah they, they did a good job. Someone got out of line. Big morale guys, like Buddy Kimball. Buddy Kimball should have been our captain. He showed up to every game with a positive attitude. Always wanted to be there. Always had that look in his eye. <laughs> he was ready to ride by. 
uh, the clown from the team. Well, this kid obviously wasn't trying to be a clown, but everything he does in life is just really funny. As Shane Level, like at the end of the year with his thug cap, he just looked like an absolute clown. Clowns? Um, Roy Maurer, Drew Lustig. Yeah, to um, extend on what he said, Shane Level, I remember he tried to call himself American Sniper, and he specifically said, that's what they call me. They call me American Sniper. And I don't think anybody called him that. There's a big. Captains, Connor Flynn, 100%. Holy shit, that thing Yeah, is Shane Little sucks. He's a uh, <laughs> pretty much worst player on the team. Honestly, I don't know why Connor didn't get Lord Dragon instead of Flynn in the back of this jersey. That's what I didn't understand. Oh, the biggest clown was Connor. Connor <laughs> Ben. The biggest clown. <laughs> ben. By far. Alright, definitely. Yeah, Connor and Ben. Yeah. 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 All the time. Yeah. That was Biggie right there. Vinny and Max were pretty weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're pretty nice. Yeah, those kids were weird. <laughs>30 seconds left when Ryan had that chance in front. Remember that? Somehow, Luke Joyce got the glove. It's f***ing so good. Yeah, that's a tough one. Rob Ryan Andrews at the end of the game. It was very unfortunate. They got lucky. He, he stole that one from them. We also didn't play our best game. He stole, he stole that one for them. Mm -hmm. But we definitely could have brought more. We could have brought more. We were playing our second line as our first line. Yeah, that really hurt us. After that, everyone was just motivated and we really felt like we had to pull together to do something this year. And I think it was good because like, you just learned from it. It was like a good wake-up call. Cool. And you, we woke up after that and just uh, kicked ass. I think in a way it helped us. It made us know we weren't unbeatable, but we needed to try every game. I don't remember that game. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, when we play Rampo, it's always, always someone you want to beat. The Marchese Cup game against Rampo, that was my first game back. I remember, like, being, being so <laughs> nervous. I remember Thomas Moskal had the hardest, loudest hit I've ever heard in my life. On who was it? Kyle Livernoy. Yeah. Yeah, behind the net, you hit him, like helmet to helmet, just cracked his head. The stands were packed. It was like one of the most electric atmospheres I've ever played in front of. Like, I think that was the first like really tough game we had. And like, I think I scored like four minutes into the game. Not even like first shift. And then the place was so f wow. <laughs> I remember just being like, please don't f the bed. And then, <laughs> and then we didn't f the bed. Yeah. We won. That game was sick. We f them up real nice. Like, it's kind of, you feel bad for them. Yeah. I'll f for the boys. <laughs> <laughs> we f the boys were buzzing. I 
what, what is that, four for four for us? I mean, can't lose. Four peaks there. I've never lost Rambo, so. Bro, <laughs> We'll always beat them, and that cup will always be ours, so there's nothing really much to say. We're just the better team. Green is just an ugly color in general, so they suck. And, uh, this is a good win for the holidays and uh, for the boys. And uh, again, we just keep on building off of after every win, so that was nice. I mean, they, they put up a just disgusting fight. Past couple of years, it's been fun playing against them. And this year, uh, it was a little more competitive, but you know, we got the job done. Oh. Oh, I miss it so much. This one's 6-0. The Summit game. Uh, that was a fun, fun game. I think it was right after Christmas, and we just said, f it, you know. Last year, we played Summit at their home rank, and if I don't think, if it wasn't Foggy, we probably would've got smoked. But they get, we put up a good fight against them last year, and one of their players had an interview after, and he said that we uh, show shouldn't have been a close game, and we're just talking all this trash about our team. So I guess that's what kind of fueled us for the next year. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a good close game against them for like the first two periods. I mean, it was it was so tight. The shots were like twenty four to twenty three, I think, after two, and it was a one one game, and it was just like such an intense battle the whole way through. And then we came out in the third, and in like five minutes we scored four goals, and we literally just blew straight through them. Had two goals that game, a couple apples. I remember Brock Pfizer, absolute lethal backhand. Might have been one of the prettiest goals I've ever seen all year. And it was awesome to beat your team. It's just back to you the year before, and also a defending state champion. And then, I don't know, to be able to beat a team like Summit 6 1, who ended up winning it. I mean, again, like a team that was very beatable for us. I mean, it kind of hurts, but I mean, still, looking back on it, it was a good victory. They couldn't play with us at all. They couldn't keep up, like, at all. Yeah, it was probably, like, a big turning point in our season, you know? Like, that, that Christmas break, we had, like, a rough set of games, and after summer, we just kind of ran with it. it nice. Yeah, pretty nice with it. Yeah, pretty nice with it. Pretty nice with it. Knowles game. Absolute beauty of a game. Dude, number 10, that ugly kid with the, oh my god. Some like dad his and his dude. daughter were talking, ball, talking a lot. Greasy, stands. blonde hair. That game, that game was great. That was a fun game to watch. Like, we had no coach, third period, down, I think five on three, and we just said, fuck it. I think we were down about 4-1. Get a new head coach oh, yeah. at Coach Rifle. He Absolutely. really rallied the troops. Oh yeah, right. Had our morale guys, we Connor Flynn, him. really rallied yeah, the boys at Rifle. It was just amazing. And Thomas got it started with a nice goal. And I don't know, things kind of just fell into place for us. Boxer bouncing our way. Ricky scored his first goal. I got my first goal that Ricky, game. Ricky, I remember that, that game. You know. <laughs> I remember Comes that in, game. snipes it, goes to the bench like, let's <laughs> I'm like, yeah, and we just kind of, you know, united together and we just, we just did what we had to do. Got the boys going. Just got the boys going. It was easy to come.
that that just goes to show the versatility of our team. It's just, we always got each other's backs. And uh, yeah, the game winning goal from Thomas was also very thrilling. <laughs> Good win. It was came back, and it was just you know we were we knew we were capable of beating them, and it was just great to see us you know come together in the last period and just get her done. I think I think Tabs getting thrown out won us that game. It made it like see that we had to do it ourselves, and that Tabs wasn't gonna like guide us to a win, and that we had to do it ourselves. So we took it upon ourselves. Number one thing, DJ is head coach. Alright, so the Northern Highlands game, you know, that was that was a tough one. I don't think we played our best game and Highlands is definitely a team that you can't play like bad against. We uh buried a goal pretty quickly into the game. Against a really good goal. Like, we scored in like the first like ten minutes and I don't know, we had a one nothing lead for the entire game and Highlands isn't a team that gives up very easily. They have a lot of good players. And uh, they all work very hard and very together. And we kind of put off the storm for a little bit when they scored the tie up late in the third. Uh, cause I think Ryan just went that game late. It was awesome. Yeah, it was so hype. It was. I remember Ryan telling me that this is when the game ends. So then uh, he scored too to win. So it was awesome. It was a good feeling. Ryan did get the game winning goal. I scored an absolute grease of a goal. 40 seconds left. Really brought the boys yeah. to the next round. I mean, if it wasn't for me, I, I don't know where we would be. We wouldn't even played St. Joe's. Who knows what happened in the Big North Cup? Yeah, so, was two years in a row, Ryan Andrews put away uh, Northern Rhode Island. Island. came into that game thinking we were going to win, but we didn't know how hard it was actually going to be. So like, when we, when we started that game, like, we were not match to them. I honestly think we needed that loss, because if we didn't win, we probably wouldn't have had a good chance at the Big North Cup. Uh, the loss to St. Joe's, I think, kind of woke us up. It showed that we can definitely, we, we thought that we were better than St. Joe's because I still think we were, but it showed us that we don't work hard and we don't really care about it, that like it wasn't going to happen, like we were just going to keep losing and we didn't work together, so I think it meant us like pull together better as a group. I mean, it would have been great to play in the, uh, another county finals, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <what's that? laughs> but I mean, it was it was going to be hard to beat them and I was happy oh, we could beat God. them for the championship, yeah, the league championship. So it was kind of nice. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I got distracted. I saw my name under the desk. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, I heard it was not Joe Baggy's fault at all. And I heard Joe Baggy was uh, trying to be a mobile goalie. Mobile today. goalie trying to and, pass uh, it out. He tried to try to get an assist, but did he try to throw it and it just like glided down the ice, just and right to the kid's table. He's like, I rather just give him a goal. I feel bad. We'll take them. I feel the bad. Team. He's a ginger. He had no soul. I just give it right to him. Next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> the Clifton 6-2 win. It was a closer game than we would have definitely liked against a team like that. Uh, they played the same five kids the entire game. They played one line the whole game. I remember that one kid, James Hussar, didn't come off the ice. <laughs> they, they basically had one line, and they rolled with that one line. And it was pretty... It was... I don't know, it was difficult for like... Having Moscow like basically carry us. Right. Get Brock and Thomas the puck. Just get Brock and Thomas out there. You know it doesn't matter Coach, who they're playing with, listen. who they're playing against. They're gonna they're gonna perform. Oh my oh. God, Moscow destroyed. What? <laughs> Getting six goals in one game is crazy. Like everyone was ecstatic. For him. It, was, it was wild. Uh, <laughs> no, he kicked that, put the team on his back, and he's a great player, and he deserved it, and it showed six genos.
that game, we just we both played good. I remember I had a really big, big shot block. Yeah, look at um, the newspaper. Went... Best performance ever. That's all I gotta say. Go. In Hill's history. Slap, slap. Yes, sir. Yeet. How do you guys remember all of these? Uh, Lakeland was the next game after Clifton, and that was a fun game. Yeah, that was the most hyped I've ever been. Like before the the Joe's game, obviously. Uh, when we play Lakeland, and they're a good team, and we know that. And their fans always come, and our fans always come, so it's always a good atmosphere to play in. Ooh, big, was, big game. Um, so first, the goal in the first period was a nice wrap around. I hiked it off uh, Luke Joyce, put it back in the net. They came back, got one. Then Brock Pfizer, uh big yep. mobile guy. Scared the guy out of his pants. He shit his pants and uh, just fell. I think the kid that fell and gave Brock a breakaway actually had a C on his chest. Brock went on a breakaway. He went bar down. Brock went, uh, I remember. He went bar down. Tom he Chatter. Went down. <laughs> he went bar down. When Brock scored that goal, I wasn't even on the ice and I was on the bench and I was skating all the way to the student section and got there before him. I was so hyped. Uh, we jumped in the glass, I remember that. There's a picture of it. It's like... Brock did go down, he nipped. He went and hit the glass, and Bobby Reese did yell at us for that. Yeah. After that game, we weren't allowed to jump into the glass anymore. I think that just yeah. describes yeah. how hype the, hype the game was. They, we were so good that they made us not be able to sell it. Just says a lot about the team. And uh, I remember when they beat us the first time, they were talking a lot of trash about us. So it's because they uh, beat them more mattered, actually. Jake DeVore doesn't want the smoke. He could, didn't go on Twitter after that game. Yeah, he, was he quiet. obviously was rattled. We, we beat Lakeland twice. I was saying because like remember Jay had a hat trick and he would do that interview. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Did, 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 did. He's like, my hands. What did uh, I yeah. do with my hands? Get the goals. Uh, it was just nice. Uh, looking all season to find the net, and uh, it just helped from the teammates to uh, finally uh, put the puck in the back of the net. Jay's interview is one of those things where if you're having a bad day and you need something to remind you, it can it can't get worse. You just watch that video. <sighs> Honestly, you go from like the highest peak and then all of a sudden just, you know, fumbling around the mic. I felt like I was on a spaceship and uh, I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jay's a character. Yeah. Can't blame that on him. Personally, I was being distracted by <laughs> all the guys in the background, so. You know, the, 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 the boys worked hard. Yeah, you know. Know. Well, you know, I think the boys had a good win today. Um, Next question. <laughs> Honestly, just a great, it's a great clip. It was after a great hat trick, too. Don't forget that. Everything ended up fine. Yeah, okay, okay, everything was fine. But no, but, uh, no, because we beat Lakeland, and then we beat him again in this league playoff, and then I think we went up against Joe's, and we were all pretty hyped up in the locker room, we found out Joe's won, and we just won another shot at them, and, you know, we just we gave him everything we had. It speaks for itself. You can see the video. Absolute lethal game. The boys were buzzing. We're all dialed in on the same page, and you know, again, I like I thought our captains Drew and Rory, you know, Jed, like everyone, Ricky here. I thought everyone, you know, all had a good mindset and just made sure, you know, when things got tough, we just just played. We just kept that focus on, and uh, everyone stepped up, and it was just a beautiful game to watch. First period. I think we came out flying. Like our first shift, we had like three opportunities to score. I rattled a couple pipes, um, maybe five or six that game. So from that, I knew that St. Joe's was better than us, and I think they underestimated us because they beat us for nothing the first time. 
They were obviously really cocky after that win, and we just gave it to them. We came out, scored. we scored the first goal, I think, yeah, like 10, minutes, 10 minutes in. Uh, I didn't even think it went in. And then they, they tied it up. What, we went 1-0 after the first? Or was it 1-1 after it was the first? It was 1-1 after the first. So, honestly, their goalie didn't play as bad as I thought he was going to. Like, he's not that good, but he's he actually, awful. He, he kind of stepped it up a little bit. Hostel scored right after that. Yeah! 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 I was like, oh my god, look, we're gonna, we're, honestly, we're definitely winning like 100%. And then I just wanted to go, like, get out of the second period, up 3 1. And then they scored a late goal. But we still had all the momentum. We held him 3 2 until, like, I think, a minute 10. I mean, there was a lot of, a lot of I don't know, calls that were questionable, questionable but then and they ended up scoring to tie it. Ben Pendy almost cost us a game like he did to the Bits Nits Nationals. When he took that penalty, it, I mean, I, I felt the pain that the national players felt for the Bandits, him taking a penalty oh, yeah. and forcing overtime, but we rallied around it. I think, I don't know, there's like 30, I want to say 30 something seconds left or 20 seconds left. Like, so, like, normally in hockey, it's like, oh, like, it's, it would be in trouble. I wasn't worried at all, honestly, and uh, I knew we'd get it done, and then literally like 12 seconds later, we win the face off, goes down the ice, snipes. Rory Mauer came down, sniped. Rory, sniped. Rory got him. And Rory scored a sick goal. He's got clutch in his veins, baby. I haven't heard of like a louder, like, like, I don't know, I'd like cheer. cheer than like that. It was... Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! I probably watched that like two hundred times. Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, it could have been Thomas' goal. It was with his stick, but, uh, you know. We scored, who cares? Game. And big North champs. Get it out! I think we could all agree that nothing, there was no better feeling than just jumping up and down, throwing the sticks up, winning that championship. In the gloves. In the gloves too, <laughs> yeah. And just jumping on Joe and everyone was just piled up together, like some tears, like everyone was just pumped up with the championship because it meant a lot. Look at the fans, like, and the parents, like, this, this was a big deal and just the best feeling to win that championship. Let's go, baby! Oh, fuck yeah. oh, no. Their team versus our family, and uh, we uh, showed them who's boss. Got that win, got that championship, a special moment. We're just started. We're just getting started. Yeah, baby. Can't be afraid. You guys saw it, but like the team picture, Drew's face. So <laughs> <laughs> but like it, it was, it was hype. It was hype. Definitely, it's great to win with like all the kids you grew up with. Yeah, like we're not just friends; we're all brothers. And uh, I think we all know that. And it was very memorable to win with them. I'm very happy about it. Everyone is ecstatic. Everyone is happy. Everyone in our school is happy. All of our fans are happy. 
all of our parents. Uh, I think our parents were more happy than we were. It's a great day to be a Brave today. Great day. <laughs> uh, being the top seed in the States, like, obviously we knew that it was from what we did because our record was very good, and we knew that we were the top seed in the state. But at the same time, there was a lot of pressure knowing that like, we're we were expected to go to the Prudential Center. It's not even that. Everyone just like, even from the beginning of the season, thought so much like so highly of us, and we had so much like we always had a target on our back in every game we played in. That's why some of the games when we didn't take it seriously, we lost. Because every that team wanted to beat us. We were gonna get the other team's best game. Yeah. We made it past the first round. Our goals was accomplished. Um, well, you know, second round it was one nothing for a while. We were losing. Came down. Beautiful pass to Moscow. One one. You passed the puck? I did. Wow. And then we scored. I know. That's something new. I know. It's very new. And then uh, what happened? Then we scored again. It was 2-1. Then late goal and then an OT. You know, Tyler Botta really took over that game. I didn't want to talk about that. No, no thank no. you. Well, I mean, it pretty much is kind of like the Warriors, 73-9. and nine. I mean, you have such a good regular season. And even Tampa Bay, you have such a good regular season, and it kind of sucks when you can't translate it to the playoffs. So, like, I don't know, us breaking the school record for wins, it's great and all, but that's not really what we wanted. We wanted to get a state rank, and obviously we couldn't do that, which sucks. All right, well, I guess it's just me, but I'm the best one, so. Uh, I guess I'll move in the middle, or is that? Um, I thought the season with the boys was fun, and uh, you know we had a lot of fun times. You know, a lot of uh, making fun of people, but together I think we were, we were a, a team, a family, and uh, it was just a special group of guys coming together to make something special. Yeah, in the wise words of Julie Williams, it is not about having your name in the newspapers, even though Brock did not like that sentence. <laughs> My name's in the paper every game. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. We won, won some things, broke a couple records, came up short. Broke the win record. Broke the win record. Broke the goals in the season, or goals in the game record. Mm -hmm. Coaches have definitely learned, I mean, they have. They learned that, you They have to put me and Brock on the ice way more, because That's year, when good things happen. That's when good things happen, so. It's like bread and butter. It is bread and butter, but I'm the butter, just. I'm the bread. It's not butter, it's bread. <laughs> We almost lost to West Milford because we didn't <laughs> try. That was so funny. Sitting on the bench. Are you guys f***ing kidding me right now? It's 6-4. <laughs> We're all sitting there like Coach, dying. We're winning. We're winning. Coach, like, no one gives a sh. He's like, I'm going to put Tim in. And we're all looking at him like, how does Tim have to do with how we're playing? Like, oh, uh, dude. That was so funny. Uh, it was pretty fun. Had a great time. Boys were buzzing. Uh, just sad we're not playing with the Bezos anymore. Things dear to me. No more showers, no more grease. No yeah, more showers. No more sho you know, the only thing we could really ask for is just one more shower. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's all we asked for. Alright, so the season as a whole, like, I thought it was very good. It was definitely it was our best season that the team has had here. We got the most wins we ever had. Um, you know, we won that championship. Uh, blood, sweat, and tears went into it. Definitely gonna miss them, but you know it happens. It's life. You gotta move on. But I think that everyone did well. Everyone played their role this year. I just think we got unlucky at a bad time, and that's why our season ended a little bit short. But we still have a lot to like uh, look at. We won our league for the first time since 2006 with a group that I would I would pick any day of the week. Like I would have rather win with any other guys besides like this team. So I don't know. Got 22 wins. It was a lot of fun. Fun Secret Santa. Pond hockey at Flanks, roller hockey, the cup. I guess all of it really paid off. Really.
That was, that's probably one of the worst parts. Uh, playing roller hockey with everybody and going through all that since like fifth grade is pretty sad to not be able to play with them again. But such a shame. It is what it is. You know. But honestly, throughout the uh, season, it was off the ice was was, was fun because practice was fun. We would fool around, but also be serious. We know when it's time to get serious and work on drills. But we had so much fun, you know, making fun of people, whatever, this and that. Making fun of Joe Baggy, you know. Making fun of Flink, the uh, two goalies, Tim. It was a lot to make fun of Tim. Um, yeah, it was just a fun, fun time. That would be gross. We could have worn the hat. Oh, shit. We could have worn the hat. I like that, damn. I just need the mic. <laughs> Part two. Part two. I had a great game today. A couple hat tricks. Got the dub. Didn't need the boys. Did it all myself. Didn't need the boys. Did it all myself. Good game.